What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing the benefits of RAD 140. And it's quite frankly, one of my favorite SARMs that I've ever done. RAD 140 is a pretty unique SARM. It's a pretty powerful compound. So first I gotta give the disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Anything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Anything you do, you do at your own risk. And I had nothing to do with it. I'm not condoning the use of any illegal substances. SARMs vary. In their legality from country to country it's kind of a gray area right now in certain countries and there's some countries where it's flat out illegal so if you're in a country where it's illegal to use do not consume already 140 all right rad 140 test alone we're gonna dive right in here test alone is one of the stronger SARMs like I was saying earlier it packs quite a punch for the dosage and for it being a SARM. Kind of surprising if you've tried other SARMs. So RD140, of course, it's got the muscle sparing benefits, just like all other SARMs. Also, is going to help you grow some lean muscle tissue as well. That's great. But probably the most pronounced effects that I noticed was a significant increase in strength gains. My strength increases. I was breaking PRs left and right, and it is very effective at increasing strength aggression you're gonna get some aggression from it so intensity that intense feeling where you're just it's aggression but it's a positive aggression from what i experienced i didn't get any negative emotional outbreaks or anything like that that people kind of talk about I think most of the time that's kind of blown out of proportion. I think uh, there's a lot of placebo effects with this type of stuff and people hear that, oh, it's gonna cause aggression. Usually it's people that are very new to anabolics that tend to experience that side effect. They say, oh, I took it and then I got aggressive. I got in arguments with my girlfriend all the time. I was yelling, getting road rage and it doesn't really do that. So it'll increase your propensity to do that if you're all already someone who's like that but if you're a calm person it's not going to turn you into a douchebag overnight that's not that's not how these work however if you are an aggressive fighting type of individual rad 140 is going to increase that a little bit not significantly but a little bit it's going to give you more drive and that's the main thing I want to get across. For me, it wasn't as much of an aggression as it was a drive, just a mental and physical motivation and drive. Just I packed more of a punch, if that makes sense. So also comes with RID 140 that I noticed, just like Austrian, there's a sense of euphoria, sense of well-being that comes along with RID 140. That's pretty nice. Can't complain there, really. Now, it's a little different. It's more mental than Austrian. I feel like Austrian is more of a physical physical well-being sense. RD 140 is just like a, you're in a very positive mood all the time on it. You're just ready to get the day started and get stuff done, tack the day. So that's awesome about it. Also, one thing I noticed, I felt pretty healthy on it. That's the nice thing about SARMs. A lot of anabolics, when you're taking them, you, you don't feel very healthy. You feel it affecting your liver in a way that you feel it in your body, that it's doing something not good almost like after drinking and you feel like it had a toll on your body. A lot of anabolics have that same effect. So yeah, you get benefits, you get the muscle mass, you get strength, but there's a price that comes along with that. And a lot of time that's felt in your body physically. You can literally feel it in your liver. You're more, a little more lethargic. Sometimes you could get high blood pressure and just a general sense of bleh, not feeling good, not feeling healthy. So RD 140 didn't do that. In fact, I felt very healthy and vibrant on it. I felt good inside. I didn't. I felt like it wasn't having much of a toll on my body in terms of health. In fact, I'm probably on the same level as Austrian, where I feel like you could run RAD 140 for quite a long time before you'd start having negative health consequences. And you know, of course, if you do that, you want, you're going to be doing a PCT. So, but we're going to get into that. So what are the side effects of RID 140? You're gonna notice some medium HPTA suppression. So not hardcore like a steroid, but it's more than other SARMs. You're gonna get more suppression from RID 140 than you would out of Austrian or S4. It's up there with LGD. Honestly, I feel like I noticed a little more suppression from RID 140 than I did with LGD. But LGD, I felt like it had more of an effect on my health. So 
I felt a little more bloated, a little like it was affecting my liver a little bit. There's a trade-off there. Felt like it didn't affect my health so much, but it did affect my testosterone, my natural endogenous production of tests a little bit more than LGD. Obviously, it's going to need a PCT. It's going to require a full PCT. So that means the Nolvidex, HCG, and Clomid. You want to do the full PCT. You want to make sure that your levels are back to normal. After you come off, you want to get your get your soldier working again, get your production back to square one. Some side effects I've noticed other people report are anger, mood alterations. I never, I didn't experience that. I only experienced positive mood alterations. I didn't get any anger, but I did notice aggression in the gym, which is not a bad type of aggression. It's not a bad thing. Some people report nausea. I never Ever got that insomnia it's hard to tell if I got insomnia because I I have a insomnia all the time so it's hard to tell if I had more insomnia on the RD 140 but just uh, anabolics in general are going to cause insomnia there's no different it's definitely not gonna help you sleep that's for sure some people report lethargy I didn't experience that I had energy all day. Actually, I felt pretty good and motivated with it, so I didn't get any of that, but some people report that, so I gotta, gotta state it. Now, where does RAD140 shine? RAD140, it's a cutting sarm, so it's going to come in handy for if you're cutting, trying to get shredded, if you're trying to maintain or even gain muscle in a caloric deficit, RAD140 is great for that. You could run low calories and you're gonna keep your gains. You're not gonna be losing muscle while you're shredding the fat. So that's nice. You can be burning fat, building muscle at the same time. RAD140 is great for that. In my opinion, RAD140 is the best SARM for aesthetics. So something that I don't hear people talk about enough about RAD140 is RAD140 is amazing in terms of what it can do for your muscle separation. It has this effect where the glycogen goes in, into your muscle tissue and it's almost like it pulls the glycogen that's surrounding your muscle tissue and it pulls it into the muscle tissue. So there's two types of glycogen storage. There's intracellular and extracellular glycogen. So intracellular glycogen it's a muscle fuel storage inside of the muscle actually in the muscle tissue itself there's fuel storage units in the muscle itself the more full those are with glycogen the more energy you're going to have to directly fuel that muscle in contraction that's the main benefit associated with taking creatine monohydrate is a uh, intracellular muscle glycogen storage that happens when you take creatine and that's why people say take creatine with carbohydrates because what happens is the carbohydrates go into the fuel storage units and store for energy for later for a muscle contraction. Now, there's also what is called extracellular glycogen storage. Extracellular glycogen storage are the storage units outside of the muscle tissue. So there's the surrounding areas like the fat underneath the skin. You have glycogen storage units there. And most anabolics, it seems like they, uh, depending on the anabolic used, they fill up both of these glycogen storage units, the extracellular and the intracellular. And the wetter the compound, the more it seems like it fills up the extracellular. So like Dianabol or even LGD 4033 seems to fill up your extracellular glycogen storage units. That's why you notice you'll get kind of a bloat if you see people on D-Ball or LGD4033 or even MK677. You'll notice a bloat to them where it's it kind of looks like they're putting on some fat, but it's not fat. Heck, I mean, it's not carbohydrates stored in the fat that's bloating it, making it look bigger than it actually is. What RD140 is really good at doing is taking those carbohydrates out of the extracellular storage unit and shuttling them into the directly into into the muscle, into the intracellular storage units. I don't know if that's actually how it does it, but that's what it feels like it's doing. When you're on RD140, your skin is tight up against the muscle and the you feel that inside of the muscle, it's full of energy, of glycogen storage. And uh, partly that's where the strength comes from, in my opinion, is you have more instant energy for the muscle contraction. 
And that's a, that's a pretty amazing thing about it. So you're not gonna gain as much volume and mass as, as in LGD 4033, but the look you get on RAD 140 is, it's unmatched by any other SARM, in my opinion. So yeah, that intracellular glycogen storage while depleting bloat simultaneously is unmatched by any SARM I've ever tried. So. Where else is RD140 shine? The euphoric aggression and motivation, that drive you get from it, pretty awesome. That's the hallmark of it. Just a good compound. This is one of my favorite compounds I ran. You get a happy, upbeat mood. Your strength goes through the roof. So you're more focused on just breaking PRs and getting after the day, tackling your goals. The best way I can describe RD140 is if LGD4033 was the Hulk SARM, then RAD140 would be the Super Saiyan SARM. Super Saiyan 3 Goku SARM. So that kind of draws a picture for you. That's honestly the best description I could give for it. Those of you who have tried it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, what scenario is RAD140 best used in? RD140 is a good SARM for the intermediate SARM user. So by intermediate, what do I mean by that? You have at least a few cycles under your belt. I don't think you should start with RD140 as your first cycle you ever run. I would start with Austrian personally. Technically, you could do RD140 as your first cycle, but I just think it makes more sense to do Austrian first. The amount of suppression you're gonna experience on RAD is at least double what you'd get off Austrian. Also RD140, it's really best utilized in a cutting cycle. You could use it in a bulking cycle. I personally don't think that's where it shines though. I think there's other compounds that would work better for bulking, but RD140, it's probably the best cutter out of all the SARMs. So what else is it used for? It's gonna Keep you looking juicy while well, you're already lean. You're not having to cut down, get dry and flat. You're you're keeping that volume to your muscle. Like I was talking earlier, the intracellular storage, you're keeping that while you're cutting, burning all that fat. Keeping the gains looking juicy while you're cutting down and shredding off that fat. A lot of times you're having to compromise. A lot of times you're going through a cutting phase and you look like shit while you're cutting. Throw some RAD 140 in there and that's gonna keep you looking good through that process. Now, what else is it good for? Breaking strength PRs. Honestly, RAD 140 is phenomenal for breaking strength PRs, hitting your strength goals. It's really good for that. A lot of times while you're cutting, you're losing your strength in the process. You don't have as much energy because you're on lower calories. So RAD 140 is very useful for this fact because even though you're lowering your calories, you're getting that extra oomph from the RD140, extra drive and energy. And it's very useful in this context. So yeah, RD140, it's amazing. It's a great cutting SARM and I highly recommend it for anyone who's looking to you know, cut down. Summer's coming up. You want to get looking good. RD140 is amazing for that. You want to have your shirt off on the beach. You want to be rocking some dad bod. So yeah, guys, RD140, amazing SARM. I definitely recommend it. For those of you who live in a country where it's legal and you have access for, RD140 is an amazing compound to try. That's a wrap for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it locked to my channel. Those of you who have experienced RD140, leave a comment down below. I love hearing what your guys' experiences are. Everyone's got such a unique chemistry that obviously these compounds are gonna act differently from person to person. So it's really, honestly, we're, we're all lab rats right here. We're all taking these research chemicals and honestly there's not a whole lot of studies done on them it's very useful if we could get as much anecdotal trip reports as possible honestly that's all we have to go by right now since there's not a whole lot of studies all we have are these anecdotal word of mouth experiences so yeah let me know what your experience is with rd 140 what happened with you it helps the algorithm also helps the community helps people know what they're taking hit the like button down below subscribe if you haven't keep up keep locked into my channel deuces